Yes, uh, I would like to uh, say hello and uh, welcome to uh, Andre Vitek from Czech Republic. Uh, hello. hello, hello, who is working in the Nature Conservation Agency in Czech Republic. And uh, he, um, he had a presentation at a conference in Romania in May, and I was at the conference, but didn't have the possibility to, to take part in the presentation. So he has been very helpful here to hold this presentation on uh, Zoom. And uh, the title of this presentation is um, The Shit Project, number two in nature responsibility. And uh, we very much uh, look forward to this. Um, so, and you're also involved in the, the National Ranger Federation. Um, so, most welcome, Andre. The floor Thank is you. yours. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so you can see here the logo of uh, our uh, Nature Conservation Agency of the Czech Republic. Uh, and also uh, one picture of uh, Bohemian Paradise Protected Landscape Area, uh, where uh, we will look at uh, further because uh, it's the protected area uh, where this project uh, started. Uh, so uh, I, I will uh, uh, present uh, it, uh, but uh, I have also my co-author, which is Jitka Kořínková, uh, who leads the Bohemian Paradise Alliance, uh, what is the body uh, that uh, cooperates with our agency uh, in this uh, Bohemian Paradise Protected Landscape Area. And I had this presentation uh, in the uh, Interpret Europe com conference uh, this year in May, uh, but uh, uh, now I will repeat it uh, for you this time. So uh, the problem we experience in these uh, highly visited areas is that uh, we want people to enjoy nice landscape, uh, some unique parts of, of uh, the countryside uh, that can look like this. Uh, and uh, we are facing also uh, very large numbers of visitors in some areas. Uh, so so uh, it, it's uh, sometimes really uh, crowded. And uh, it means that uh, it, it brings uh, some issues uh, in the nature uh, as consequences of, of uh, this uh, high uh, visitor numbers. Uh, the, the problem uh, with uh, excrements uh, in, in protected areas uh, is uh, uh, starting with uh, uh, the fact that for most people it is a taboo, that they are not prepared to talk uh, uh, about uh, this issue. Uh, and uh, I experience it, uh, unfortunately, more among my colleagues in Nature Conservation Agency than uh, among uh, visitors. <laughs> So uh, only coming with the idea that we have to discuss it uh, and uh, ma make some uh, progress uh, in, in uh, connection with, in, with visitors and uh, in uh, visitor management is not easy because uh, some colleagues say that, uh, no, no, th this topic cannot be uh, communicated. <laughs> Uh, so when we look uh, at this scale uh, of uh, people's attitude to a problem, which is quite general, in the phase uh, zero, they do not uh, recognize there is some problem at all. But uh, in the uh, later phase, uh, which is called C, uh, we know that some part of visitors uh, see the problem uh, because they mention it uh, in visitor service. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, we know that uh, it is something that uh, really disturb uh, the visitors uh, and uh, make them not satisfied during their uh, hiking in protected areas. Uh, the next phase, think, uh, shows us that, that uh, people want to improve the situation uh, they are not ready to speak about it, but visitors are quite uh, thankful uh, when they get to the information how to improve uh, the situation. So they are ready to hear. Uh, and uh, this encourages us uh, to, to really promote uh, the, the topic uh, via uh, the project. The next phase, uh, do 
is that uh, people are not only ready to do something, but they are doing something to improve the situation. And it, it could be illustrated with this uh, outdoor toilet travel, uh, which uh, is offered uh, not only in e-shops, but, but in the outdoor uh, shops uh, as well. And when I um, uh, asked about how, how many pieces are they uh, able to sell. They said that the number is increasing, that really uh, hikers are more and more interested in, in this uh, leave no trace, let's say, when, when I uh, take, take this term from uh, North America, uh, leave no trace principles uh, and really want to behave more sustainably, more responsibly uh, in nature. And uh, with this, we are coming to the share phase, uh, which I start with, with the abbreviation VMP, which stands for Visitor Management Policy. Uh, what, what is a, a strategy a plan, uh, how to work with visitors in protected uh, landscape areas. Uh, but also outdoor shops promote uh, this topic on their web pages uh, and uh, in discussions. Uh, and also some influencers, what are typically long distance hikers that are, have their own uh, internet blogs. And uh, also sometimes uh, you can find some articles uh, about uh, crap and uh, uh, how, to, how to deal with it uh, when you do not want to leave it just behind. So, so uh, it's better. And... Uh, there's also one uh, book dedicated uh, especially to that topic. So it's also uh, Influencer, the, the author Kathleen Meyer from uh, the United States uh, published uh, this book, How to Shit in the Woods. Uh, and you can see on this uh, cover that uh, it says that over 3 million copies sold already, not only in America, but uh, all around the world. So. Uh, it's uh, another evidence that uh, people are interested in reading or hearing about the topic and most many of them are prepared really to change their behavior to improve uh, the situation. Uh, for me, it's great uh, when I started to think about how to uh, communicate uh, the, the uh, problem. Uh, that, that I came to the idea, I need some special dictionary, uh, how to describe uh, and how to, how to speak with people. And uh, Kathleen Meyer did exactly the same because she's starting uh, the book with some kind of dictionary, which, use, which words uh, uh, one can use when, when communicating it. Uh, and also describing uh, quite a nice story uh, which uh, she passed uh, in the, the question if she can put the, the very rude word shit uh, into the title of the book. So uh, it's really nice to, to uh, think about it further um, uh, when you want uh, really to, to communicate this idea. So you can you can find many uh, synonyma uh, to the word shit, uh, which you can use, and some of them you can use with adults. Another one you can use with uh, children, uh, and uh, there are really many many words uh, describing <laughs> almost the same. Uh, in the book, there are many uh, stories, and also uh, in each chapter, there are some lessons learned from the story. So it is uh, uh, not difficult to read it. Uh, it's uh, mostly funny, uh, and sometimes I wonder if uh, those stories really could happen uh, in real life. But but uh, yeah, the, this is the, the, very easy to to read uh, the book. So. Uh, it, it could be uh, uh, really interested for anyone who uh, visits uh, countryside. Uh, uh, let's uh, go back to visitor management policies and uh, especially to that uh, visitor management policy of the Bohemian Paradise Protected Landscape Area. Uh, we uh, were uh, successful to write uh, this uh, one sentence or, or short paragraph about uh, excrements. 
uh, and uh, I uh, put it in a bold uh, font, uh, se several words uh, that uh, the taboo is mentioned uh, in the expression uh, and uh, the, the whole communication should be done to find uh, solutions and implement them uh, with the, the, the final aim to improve uh, the state or, or the situation, uh, which uh, is not really good uh, nowadays. And uh, we uh, came uh, to the SHIT project, uh, which is uh, mostly done uh, by my colleague, Itka, Itka Kosinkova, a colleague and co-author of, of this presentation. Uh, which consists of several activities. Uh, first, it started uh, with a website uh, for uh, visitors uh, where uh, they can start their visit to Bohemian Paradise Protected Landscape Area and showing them the map which shows where uh, to start the hike uh, with a public toilet. Because uh, when you do not want to leave uh, your crap uh, in the woods, uh, you should uh, visit the, the toilet uh, first when you start your hike. And you can see that uh, there are not so many opportunities uh, for, for uh, visiting a toilet uh, when, you, when you start hike in this uh, protected landscape area. So this is also something uh, that needs to be uh, improved, but uh, showing the possibilities is the first uh, step uh, to improve the situation. Uh, also, uh, there are some responsible visitor principles uh, that uh, are uh, inspired by the, the American Leave No Trace uh, program, but incorporated into Central European situation. Here you can see the first three. Uh, and uh, it's uh, like a frame, uh, what everything should uh, a visitor uh, uh, of protected area um, respect uh, or, or follow uh, during, during their visits. Uh, and uh, leaving no excrements uh, visible in the area is just one very small point in, in uh, the, the, the whole uh, policy, let's say. Uh, there's so, uh, also uh, uh, a short cartoon uh, created for the Bohemian Paradise, uh, showing that, that the best solution is visiting a, a public access to toilet. Uh, but uh, if, if uh, none is uh, nearby, uh, you should search for a proper place. Uh, what, uh, what you can leave, what is biodegradable, uh, could be uh, left, what not, uh, like some hygiene uh, products for women or uh, wet tissues uh, should not be left even uh, not, not in uh, cat holes uh, and so on. So you should uh, pack it uh, back and, and take it uh, to the civilization uh, with you. Uh, what is quite controversial when uh, looking for a, a proper place is that uh, for the fastest uh, degradation of uh, such an excrement, uh, the place should be uh, exposed to sun and rain. Then it's uh, much faster, but uh, these open places are not very typical uh, for people that are uh, finding a secret place where no one will see, see them. So, so it's quite controversial, but uh, having this in mind uh, really could, uh, could uh, help you to find uh, a nice place and uh, dig a cat hole, uh, what uh, should be a hole in the soil deep uh, from 15 to 20 centimeters, uh, not deeper because then uh, it is a horizon without uh, soil fauna and it will not uh, degrade uh, so well like uh, in this uh, uh, first, uh, first part of the soil horizon. So th this is simply what, what uh, the cartoon uh, says to, to the visitors. Uh, another activity within the project is the forest surprise program. Uh, what I uh, find uh, very interesting, they run it in uh, one uh, campground uh, in uh, Sedmihorky. 
uh, it is uh, let's say 30 minutes uh, program uh, that that is uh, run outdoor and mainly for children uh, but uh, the, the whole uh, camp uh, is uh, organized mainly for uh, families with children. Uh, so parents take part uh, in this uh, program or we can say excursion, short excursion uh, as well. And uh, exactly what, uh, what I've introduced you is uh, experience in this program, which is called Forest Surprise. Uh, with no need to uh, produce your own excrement. Uh, you can uh, borrow uh, one uh, quite safe from, from uh, the organizers and uh, show if you are able to hide it properly in the woods. So uh, th this is a practical activity where everyone uh, can uh, try it on their own and see that uh, it is nothing really difficult and uh, easy even for uh, very young children uh, to do it and, uh, and hide, uh, hide the crap uh, in, in the soil. Oh, uh, and uh, in Sweden, you, you may not uh, know these stickers, but, but uh, it's uh, activity in Central Europe that uh, in visitor centers, you can uh, buy, uh, let's say, traveler's book. And for each place you visit, you can buy this sticker and uh, put it uh, in, in this uh, book. So uh, they have uh, created uh, their unique stickers uh, for that. Uh, forest surprise program. So only the one who uh, participates in the program uh, can uh, obtain this sticker and put it uh, in their uh, book, showing that they uh, participated. In it. Uh, we also ran uh, a workshop to distribute the program into other areas. So here you can uh, see that there were people from uh, other destination agencies and visitor centers who came to learn uh, about the project and they are uh, ready and interested to, to start uh, this activity in their area. Uh, and uh, they should also produce uh, the package uh, for people who are uh, interested in distribute this program in their uh, areas, uh, like a, a bag uh, full of equipment, uh, which you can easily uh, buy and run your own program uh, similar to, to that uh, which uh, they uh, run in uh, the, the campsites at Mihorki. So back to the, the whole project, this was the Forest Surprise program. Uh, and uh, the part of the SHIT project is also own outdoor uh, toilet travel, uh, which looks like uh, this and uh, made of metal. So uh, it, it's uh, quite uh, durable and uh, in the same time, it is very light because uh, the, the uh, material is uh, mostly aluminium, but uh, it, it's very firm, uh, so so uh, it's easy to pack uh, this kind of travel uh, everywhere, every uh, always when, when you uh, go to visit uh, the countryside. Uh, and uh, what you can read on the travel, Chodím bez stop, it means I walk without traces. So uh, it, it's not a logo of a company, but it really uh, makes the owner of the travel to be proud of, of uh, having this and showing his attitude uh, to uh, sustainable visits uh, in nature. So <laughs> this was my presentation. Uh, here you can see some context to me and uh, also to uh, my colleague Itka. Uh, and uh, I think we are perfectly in time. So, so uh, we still have some time to uh, discuss if you have uh, any questions or uh, ideas uh, what uh, what we can do and, and uh, if we can uh, cooperate uh, on, on this topic or maybe to uh, work on it uh, further to be uh, more successful. Uh, we cannot hear you. Uh, thank you very much, Andre.
Uh, well, very interesting. And thank you. Inspiring. Very inspiring. <laughs> yeah. Um, how how would you like to develop this project further? This work further? What's your your dream? Your vision? Uh, my dream is that uh, you can easily go to e-shop and buy not only uh, the toilet trowel, but uh, also as an interpreter, uh, you can buy the package and start your own program in your area, uh, really to have the possible, very easy possibility to distribute the idea uh, and improve uh, the situation because uh, uh, it's not that bad only in Bohemian paradise, but uh, I, I saw the problem in, in other uh, areas as well. So uh, raising awareness uh, is uh, uh, very, very important uh, in this field and uh, breaking the, the, the taboo. Uh, so so for me, the, this, the, this is uh, the next step. Yeah, I was really inspired by the this um surprise program um where you can you can try yourself to dig a hole and to um to to see it that it's not difficult i think that, yeah, that could be something know, for with, sweden with actually children uh, with children it is very easy because yeah. children have no taboos uh, yeah. and when you show that that uh, talking about this is uh, something very normal they will be really open to do these activities uh, as a very normal part of the life or, or of uh, hiking in nature. And uh, of course, it is a long distance journey when, when you work with young children. But uh, yeah, it, it will uh, bring the fruits uh, within ten of, tens of years. And this is this is what we want uh, to to see that uh, that uh, you really can enjoy nature and not the the uh, human waste uh, along trails. Yeah, Per, do you have uh, questions or comments? The comments. I think this is very inspiring, and and you know we share the same issues or the same sense of taboos that people don't want to discuss. But there's also been a development that you can see. Uh, small shovels in online shops, for instance, and I think that's a good step forward. But it's certainly something we, I think we we could do something to uh, to uh, you know improve the situation and 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 break the taboo and spread this communication, and especially in the Swedish uh, Alpine terrain terrain, the Fjellen, the, the, the area in north, um, and uh, uh, where people walk uh, for long distances and, and of course, need to, to, to uh, solve this uh, issue in a good, a good manner. And, and we see increasingly, I think, problems with, with coming with increasing uh, amounts of visitors uh of of of, of the con consequences and also in the swedish archipelago for instance where people also stay for a long time and go canoeing and or or so so it has to be a little bit adopted to different contexts but i mm -hmm. i think it's something we we i hope we could you know bring forward uh do you have any uh you know sense uh, senses of, of how we could do in the Swedish context. How, do you have any ideas or, or, or how you want to cooperate on this? I would be glad to cooperate. Uh, I don't know exactly the situation in Sweden, even though I've visited uh, Sweden uh, two times. Uh, and uh, for example, experience the, the sea kayaking in Stockholm archipelago. Uh, of course, as I said, we, we adopted the Leave No Trace program for Central European situation and uh, the, the situation of uh, visiting nature is different in Sweden. So uh, I perfectly agree that uh, you can use it as it is uh, from Czechia to, uh, and uh, some alternations will be needed. Uh, for example, when I compare the situation back to North America, there are uh, some national parks that uh, uh, forbid uh, leaving any crab, even uh, buried uh, in the soil. So you have to uh, wear uh, a toilet bag and uh, take everything back with you. And I use this to, to say to, to public, uh, hey, uh, there's 
this situation in some national parks in America. Uh, and uh, just keep in mind that we do not push you to do the same and we allow you to easy hide your crap in a cat hole. So it's much more comfortable for you than uh, to, to buy a, a toilet bag and carry it with you there and back. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, showing, showing that uh, this opportunity is not the worst, but there could be something even worse, uh, make the, the people think that, yeah, this could be really the way uh, I should uh, behave uh, in the future. Yeah, and That's it's also a very good illustration. Yeah, and, and it's also uh, to, an incentive to... that uh, they maybe don't leave their shit on the ground and and bury it, so that they won't come similar rules in in your areas. Uh, mm -hmm. As for example, I think it's Grand Canyon that have those kind of rules. Mm. So I think it's a it's a good way. Pedagogy. And uh, addition is is that um, I also think that understanding that this you know to to this is a part of the natural cycle. This is nothing strange. We have to we have to just um, work with nature and and understand. So actually, instead of you know bringing a plastic bag and and leaving in you know, like some special device, it's it's actually much better to to if you can handle it in a good way and and let it decompose in 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 a, in a good place uh, without leaving any traces to 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 disturb uh, you know nature or, or people then then it's actually a good thing to do uh, and you you are a, you are a part of the natural um, uh, the cycle of life so to say uh, that's also a, a comment from me <laughs> Uh, it's very good comment, but uh, you have to be uh, very careful with explaining this because uh, then uh, people would argue that uh, animals leave their crap on the surface as well. So if a human is part of nature, why not to leave it on the surface? Mm. And uh, I use right. another experience uh, now from the COVID uh, period that uh, there were uh, many cases reported of. Uh, spreading diseases uh, uh, in between humans and animals, not, uh, not only pets in uh, ho homes, but also with uh, animals in zoological gardens. And uh, crab is one of the vectors uh, where uh, bacteria and viruses can spread. And if we can prevent uh, spreading of uh, one case of, of uh, some disease, which um, a human can be uh, resistant to it, but not, not uh, the wild animals, uh, it, it's better. So uh, I totally this, agree. Yeah, this is my argument, uh, how to explain to, to visitors that uh, it's not uh, like uh, uh, something uh, nice to have, but, but that it really can have some, uh, some uh, very negative consequences. In in winter time, uh, do you have special recommendations for winter time when the ground is frozen and then maybe there is snow? Uh, so far, I have no recommendation how to do it uh, in the winter because mm -hmm. you cannot uh, dig uh, deep. And uh, uh, if if you just uh, leave the crab uh, uh, duck uh, in uh, snow. Uh, due to low temperatures, it doesn't decompose. So uh, in the spring, it, it will probably uh, show on, on the sun, uh, on the surface of the snow or, or uh, on the soil. Uh, so, so it is not nice, but I have no solution yet. No. One thing um, uh, I usually recommend is to at least uh, burn the toilet paper uh with a match uh when you're out or take it with you mm -hmm. uh, when you're doing it in the snow but i agree it's uh more problematic where to where to put it uh, your 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 shit yeah. um another issue uh that i've um experienced and heard about in the swedish mountains is that um uh, it can be quite windy and uh places to do your needs and also places to have your resting place, for example, for um, lunch break and so on, it could be the same because it could be bushes, uh, there could be other places where it's not so windy. 
And uh, do you have similar problems in your country? And how do you communicate about it so that you don't do your needs in the places where people maybe will want to put their tent or uh, have their breaks? Um, I'm not uh, really sure how to how to answer to to this uh, remark, but. Uh... Uh, we we have many places which are really overcrowded, and uh, on contrary from uh, Scandinavia, uh, camping is not allowed uh, widely, uh, only on designated places. So we have very few places where you really, really uh, can put your uh, tent or where you can uh, light a campfire. Uh, if you want to have a break, you want to sit and eat your picnic or you want you have brought with you some some things to eat um are they can, are they can they often uh, be the same places where people do their toilet needs uh it's up to people um, how they decide uh, on the place so uh, the, the, there's no really recommendation and uh, uh, there are places where, where people concentrate or, or stay uh, for a while to, to eat their snack, let's say. Uh, and it, it's uh, like uh, general behavior that uh, people use other places uh, for uh, as a toilet. Uh, but um, uh, th th that's like a very general and there are no really rules uh say saying uh th this yeah um yeah see um uh, we uh, paris writing that he has to leave the meeting and um um maybe we should um stop the recording um and i want to say thank you andre um we can continue talking afterwards, but I'm stopping the recording. And uh, thank you very much for your time and your um, your um, help to tell us about your important project. And I hope that we can learn from each other. Um, thank you for participation. Yeah. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to, to uh, record this and distribute it uh, further <laughs> via email and, and other uh, means. Thanks.